We're going to hit the head. Oh, boy. Excuse me, sir. What are you doing? I'm all set. Did you take that book with you into the bathroom? What do you want to hear? A hundred bucks this thing cost me. I got news for you. If it wasn't for the toilet, there would be no books. Yeah, I understand Gutenberg used to spend a fair amount of time in there. They're selling coffee, bran muffins. You're surrounded by reading material. It's entrapment. French Impressionist paintings? I find the soothing pastoral images very conducive. Thank you very much. Well, I'm going to go back there later and return it when there's different people working. Yeah, I need to return this book. I'm sorry, we can't take this book back. Why not? It's been flagged. Flagged? It's been in the bathroom. It says that on the computer? Please stick it home. We don't want it near the other books. Well, you just lost a lot of business because I love to read. French Impressionism. Oh, I love this. Now, what is the problem with this book? Nothing. How much do you want for it? You know, I could let it go for, uh, say, 125. Leo's furious. What is that doing on the table? Jerry. Simmer down. I'm not eating anything in the vicinity of that book. What is wrong with this book? Simmer. That book has been on a wild ride. George took it into the bathroom at Big Tom. May I ask, what do you read in the bathroom? I don't read in the bathroom. Well, aren't you something? So you want to donate this to charity? Well, I assume there's some sort of write-off. What's the value of the book? Uh, about $200, Miss De Mooney. It's De Mornay. Rebecca De Mornay. <laughs> oh, wait a second. This book has been in the bathroom. <laughs> what are you talking about? That's, that's ridiculous. It's been flagged. I know. I used to work at a Bertano's. Mister, we're trying to help the homeless here. It's bad enough that we have some nut out there trying to strap them to a rickshaw. All right, uh, I'll just take 50. D do we have a deal? Yeah. And here it is. You get your toilet book out of here, and I won't jump over this counter and punch you in the brain. I can take it in merchandise. Here I come. George, what are you doing here? I can't sell the book. It's been marked. Certainly has. <laughs> So I'm going to steal another one, then I'm going to return it. That way, everything is even. You defile one book, steal another, ask for your money back, and to you, that's even. I'm going in. Did you want to speak to the manager? Yes, my Uncle Leo was caught shoplifting here the other day. Yes, Uncle Leo, I remember him. I'm sorry, our policy is we prosecute all shoplifters. Oh, come on. He's just a lonely old man. All old people steal. That's right. That's why we stopped carrying batteries. <laughs> Look, I'll be honest with you. We've had a lot of trouble with theft lately, and my boss said I have to make an example of someone. So it could be anyone? Mm, I guess, as long as we catch him in the act. <laughs> that guy swore!